and spit it up, and they shall scourge him, put him to death. And the third day he shall rise again. That's Luke the historian. The Hebrew Bible, great school of Isaiah, Apocrypha, and the pseudo Pigrapha are all the possible scripture that Jesus could be referencing. Okay, that, that includes uh, religious writings that didn't get put into the Bible, I suppose. And not one book mentions the Son of Man, which means a man of mankind, a person of mankind, God's righteous servant of Isaiah 53, a son of God, a man who is God, or any man to be delivered to the Gentiles, mocked, scourged, and put to death. A man who dies for the sins of other men, any man who is to rise from the dead on the third day, or a man who is sacrificed or made to sacrifice himself by God. It's just not there. You heard me from the lips of Jesus. I, couldn't be, I just read the, that that's from the New Testament. It's an outright lie. And deceptive? The whole basis for Christianity is the sacrifice, the crucifixion, the scourging part of it. You know, he's a man of suffering. Familiar with. <laughs> you know how many people suffered on the cross? Everybody who got crucified, that's a, they all suffered. Isaiah 53 is describing a particular man. No, you look at his entire life. Is this a, when you look at the total package of Jesus, do you say that's a man of suffering? No, what they say is he's a man of suffering. He's crucified. No, I'm talking about your whole life. It's just bad things happening all the time. <laughs> and afflicted by God. The Jewish people, as one man Israel, have never been afflicted by God. That's being born, lame, crippled, blind, or disfigured. I've been afflicted by God, and I fulfilled 5310. My <laughs> like 22 years after I was supposed to be dead and hadn't seen a doctor. That's, that's enough proof. That's all you need. And the cancer's gone. This is just miracles happening everywhere, huh? You think God hadn't returned to get me ready? Well, when he finally has me ready, that's when he's going to be wanting to return to his temple. Don't forget other destruction. He may get tired of waiting on me. If he leaves, the nations are going to get you one day. Utter destruction. Now, of course I don't want that. To me, I feel like it's, it's almost one of my burdens. Okay, we're running out. Let me see if there's anything else important here. Ah, it's blurring on me again. Okay, I'm almost done. Okay, y'all uh, can look up pseudograph and the other one. That's two paragraph. It is accepted today by Judaism and Christianity that the four Gospels are pseudopigrapha and were not written by the disciples Michael, Mark, and John and the historian Luke. Okay, we're back on. I want to try to give you these last two paragraphs I just jumped. The Apocrypha in Greek, that means hidden books, are Jewish books from that period not preserved in the Hebrew Bible, but included in the Latin Vulgate and Greek Septuagint Old Testaments. The Apocrypha are still regarded as part of the canon, canon of the Roman Catholic <clears throat> church, I guess it is, uh, and Orthodox churches, and as such, their number is fixed. <clears throat> the term sidiopigrapha, Greek, uh, means falsely attributed, was given to Jewish writing of the same period, which were attributed to authors who did not actually write them. This was widespread in Greek Roman antiquity and Jewish Christian and pagan circles alike. 
Books were attributed to pagan authors and names drawn from the repertoire of biblical personalities, such as Adam, Noah, Enoch, Abraham, Moses, Elijah, Ezekiel, Baruch, and Jeremiah. The pseudepigrapha resembled the Apocrypha. <laughs> I bet I've never tried to learn Greek. In general character, yet were not included in the Bible, Apocrypha, or Rabbinic literature. It is, again, accepted by Judaism and Christianity that the four Gospels are pseudepigrapha, falsely attributed to others and were not written by the disciples Matthew, Mark, and John, and the historian Luke. The greatest lie. And not only that, it's doctoring the New Testament. It's, it's, well, I mean, this, this, how do you say is prophecy fulfilled? How do you say that? <laughs> well, all you did was, whoever wrote it just changed it. They had Zechariah right in front of them. And they said, well, we can't have that because he gets crucified. Come on, if it's hard enough to fit Jesus into this book without you giving me trouble, slow-mo. That's what they did. They said, we got to make money. How about that story of Jesus? Everybody loves it. It is a good story. <laughs> but that's what it is. A big story. That's all people had back then. Okay. Next up. 18. Uh, I, personally, I love this one. I think it'll bore most of you to death. Signs and portents. God says you'll like it. He just shouldn't be. 